Hi everyone, my name is Penny. I'm a professional astrologer here on my YouTube channel, Wacko Witch Astrology, and I love to share lots of information about metaphysical topics like astrology as well as numerology, which numerology is what I'm focused on today, the numerology of letters. Now every letter has its own sound and its own shape that creates a different vibration and an impact on the world. Today we are talking about the fifth letter of the alphabet, which is the letter E. And this is going to tell you a lot about how the letter E will affect your life and your personality, especially if it is the first letter of your name. But maybe it's the second letter of your name too, and then it will have a certain degree of impact as well. So E is a letter of changes, and it has a lot of diversity within it. People whose names start with the letter E are able to branch out and pursue a lot of different um, interests and connect with a lot of different types of people. And you at first may not even realize um, how expansive you and your potential really are. Like you might be kind of a little bit more shy as a child and not as social, but then over time you start to branch out more and more and see things from a larger perspective and what kinds of people you can connect with and what kinds of things you actually understand. Like you might have had such a more narrow-minded idea of yourself and who you are when you were younger, but then as you get older, you see that that's not true. You see that there are so many different layers to everything, including yourself, and there are changes that are meant to happen and that are meant to help you evolve. E for evolve. So the letter E, it almost looks like a cake to me. Like there's there's the, the middle part and the top part and the bottom part and there's like these different layers. Like it's like a layered cake. And that's what it makes me think of. But there are these kind of like rigid edges, these, these points where you really don't want to change and you're kind of like, me, I don't like this, I don't like everything that's happening. And um, you're hesitant about it, but then you feel like these changes are always thrown upon you. And even though you might not always have the best reaction to them at first, you, you come to like them over time. And that's one of the things that is so interesting about people whose names start with the letter E. Now, what else can we say about this? Um, some words that start with the letter E are enthusiastic, eager, um, enormous, and I feel like all of these are things that describe the people, but the letter E is shaped so differently depending on whether it's capital or whether it's lowercase. When it's lowercase, it's more curvy and whimsical. And I feel like that's, that's something that people whose names start with the letter E, they always have within them. They always have this like inner whimsical child that doesn't even necessarily come out when they are a child, but they have to like find it within them eventually. Eventually, that's another E word. Um, and instead they always like, when they feel pressured and they're focused too much on like goals and the opinions of the world and stuff like that, that's when they're more rigid and they feel, um, they feel kind of uptight sometimes. They feel like, you know, they're not allowed to be that little ear, inner child, they're not allowed to be eager, they're not allowed to be enthusiastic, and they can't let that side of themselves out, but if you remind them it's there and kind of get them to calm down, you will see that it is, and they don't always have to take everything so seriously. Like on the outside, they might seem like such serious people, um, they might even seem like kind of hard to get to know or hard to get along with, and like they sometimes just take things too far, but inside they're not really like that. They're, they're, they're young. They have these young spirits that are suppressed at times, but that can come out and you can always access that, you know, that kind and innocent and lighthearted part of them, even if it might not seem that way at first. So anyway, I hope you got something out of that video and you learned a lot about the letter E and go ahead and check out all of the astrology videos and other numerology videos and tarot videos that I have on my channel. Subscribe if you aren't already and check out my website and everything like that. If you want to support me on Patreon, that would be excellent. I can always use a little bit of financial support because I'm kind of just a crazy traveling gypsy woman. 
um, who spends more time learning than she does actually making money. I'm kind of a bookworm. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I will see you again soon. Bye.